Hi there, this is Abby from the Type B SLP. I thought it would be helpful to create a video that kind of looks through my summer and spring language boom card deck. So this deck really was created in mind for pretty much any language goal that you need to target. Um, and also any skill level, um, or even if your kids just want to use it as like a reinforcement, that's another really great way to use it. So I thought I would run through some of the things um, and some of the ways that I like to use it in my speech therapy sessions. Um, one of the first things I wanted to do was a vocab introduction because sometimes when I just jump into some of these activities, um, we have to almost like back up and go through what the vocabulary is. So the first thing I started with um, in most of my sessions, I like to start with a vocab intro. So with the vocab intro, you're going to have spring vocab and summer vocab. Um, so depending on your needs, you can jump into either one of those. Let's take a look at some of the spring and I will show you how this works. So a couple different ways. You could just do a quick intro. You know, you could talk about, oh, I see an umbrella. I see the beehive, the garden, that type of thing. Another thing you could do is play more of an I spy game. So with this summer vocab, what you could do, you could say I spy something that is wet and it is something we use when it's really hot out and, you know, you're thinking of the pool. That's a really great way to introduce vocab, to review vocab, or if you're working on some simple descriptors, especially when you are in teletherapy sessions, this would be a great way to do it. Um, some things I've done in the past as well is um, we've used the vocab and I've said to the student, let's see if you can um, play I spy and see any of these in your house. Um, and then that's just kind of a fun way to get up and moving a little bit. The next activity I wanted to show you was the IC. This would be like another um, starter activity, I would say. Um, so again, another way to introduce vocab or just to kind of work on some of that simple vocab. So let me show you a couple of these. Um, so for spring, I see spring vocab. You're going to pull off the raindrops. You can put them in the rain cloud. You can talk about how spring has lots of rain and that's the main weather that we see. There are some core vocab targets there if you just want to remember um, you know, kind of where we're putting things and then you can put your spring items here and hide them and my kids always love that. Sentence strips are included on every page um, if you need them. If not, you could just cover them up with a um, quick little box on your teletherapy platform. So again, that goes for spring and summer. Now from here, this is kind of just whatever you are working on. We've got tons of sensory bins. I love the sensory bins for building suspense. Um, for this one, for example, I like bugs or I don't like sort of all different bugs. So you'll pull these off and you know, you can build some suspense. What's under there? What kind of bug do you think that is? And you can talk about if you like a butterfly or if you don't like a butterfly and put those in there. There's even sentence strips in there as well if you're working on targeting WH questions and so forth. So lots of bugs in that one. Um, another one that I really like for, again, bugs, but there's also summer, um, I found. So this one's cute. You can put them in the magnifying glass. I've already done it with some of these. Um, and then the pom-poms pom can be recycled in there, which is fun. Um, but again, there are also some for summer as well. So this one is for the beach. So the sunshines are covering up. I'm sorry, this one's for garden. Um, so you uncover it and then you decide who has what. And that's just a fun way to work again on more of that vocab. And then you can also target those pronouns in there as well. So let's just go back. Again, you've got tons of different sensory bins to pick from. And then let's get into some of the other activities. So the ones in red are all really targeting that I and me pronoun. The orange are targeting pronouns he and she. And then you've got some various other activities as well. So some of my favorite that my kids have really been loving, for example, would be these skateboards. So this is working on I want and more. And you can move the colors for describers. So you could say I want the yellow smiley face and we could stick that in our skateboard again we're just decorating the skateboard but it's a great way to target some of those i want and more um, another thing i really like to use this one for is s blends so 
You could do repetitive phrases, put the smile on the skateboard, put the rainbow on the skateboard, those types of things. So I really try to think when I'm looking through these activities, how can I expand this to be used for more than just one simple activity? How can I really expand on this? You could use it for describing, like I said. You could um, have the student give you directions. When you're in person, like on your iPad, you could give the student directions. Um, first put the pink bear on, then put the blue bear on. Um, really try to you know expand your thinking how else could I use this um, that's what takes me such a long way with these decks when I can use them with so many of my students a couple other cute activities um, like and dislike is one that I feel like I'm working on a lot with my students so if we were going to be packing for vacation um, we can decide what we like and what we don't like so maybe I like the pink hat but I don't like the blue hat um, another thing I like to do with, with some of these boom cards, you can kind of fly the item off the screen. So I'm going to just boop, fly it off, and then they don't see it. This one goes in the suitcase. I like the blue shirt, but I don't like the purple flip-flop, so we'll get rid of those. I like the dinosaur shirt, but I don't like the green umbrella, so on and so forth. Again, you've got suitcase, so you could be targeting S with that one in the final position. All sorts of things that you can do. So. Again, really try to think, how can I expand this? There's a ton of pronoun activities. Um, so he, she for building a Sunday, building a sandcastle, a beach bag, um, to go to the beach, hidden seashells. Um, so let me give you an example of this. So for this one, we would um, we have all these things hidden in the sand, which my kids love when they realize things are hidden and they can find it. Um, so we can set the items away you could toss them away the green shell is hers and so on and so forth um, another one i really like is building a sunday so maybe he needs the strawberry ice cream she needs the vanilla ice cream and you can make huge sundays and go crazy um, and then you could add all your toppings. And again, I'm using this for targeting pronouns, but you could use it for a few different things. Um, following directions would be a really great one for this because they'd have to really listen to which ice cream you said, which flavor, which topping. Um, so I love using it for following directions or um, to listening for listening to details. Okay, and then just a couple more things I'll show real quick. Um, so how to plant a garden, this is kind of like an entire sequencing activity, um, teaching the different steps. So how to do it, um, all the things that we need are in here. So as you see them in the video, you'll play the video and you can kind of click, oh, I saw the seeds, I saw the soil. Great for targeting that vocabulary, but then also talking about the sequencing. As soon as you watch this video, I like to go right into the sequencing steps. So you can put these in order and then you can check your work. Um, and make sure they understand what are the sequencing steps for growing a garden. Then from there, we can actually grow our own garden. So first, of course, we have to put in the seeds. So you can put a bunch of seeds. And then what you're going to do, you have to cover the seeds with the soil, just like you learned in the video. So now we can cover the seeds with the soil. Okay. Third thing we have to do is water them, whether it's rain or a watering can. So go ahead and take your raindrops and you're going to just water those seeds. Then the last thing we have to do is have the sun shine down. So we'll pretend to have the sun shine down. Again, I'm having the student really targeting those sequencing. There's a sentence strip there if you need it um, so that they can tell you what they need for planting. And then you get to go see what your garden looks like. So you're going to click here and you've got a beautiful garden. And then even on this page, you could work on describing. You could talk about what you're seeing. Um, you could talk about things that you grew. Why did we grow those things? What what can we do with them from here? We can make a bouquet for mom. We can plant, we can uh, pick the garden and make vegetable soup. You know, tons of different activities you can target with this. Um, and then from there, we could make a um, bouquet. We could do some pretend play. So you could have um, them pretend that they're like actually ordering a bouquet. You know, I want the blue flower, two pink flowers. I want um, one orange flower, you know, however you guys want to do it. But just, you know, just really fun. And then you can pay them for your bouquet. Maybe it's seven dollars. You can do a little bit of that math together. Um, you can talk about what would you need to say to a cashier? What would they need to say? Um, you know, you can talk about all sorts of things for um, having to check out at a 
um, register like this and do this type of activity. So really nice for pretend play. Then um, another activity I wanted to show you were the feeding the frogs. I put this in here just because my kids love feeding any anything. <laughs> Anytime we do any feeding activity, they think it's the fun the funnest thing. Um, so when we do this, you can work on describing. So he is eating the hot um, grilled cheese, and then we could feed it to him. And we could have she is eating the crunchy pretzel and then feed that to her. Um, so those are just really fun. So another fun way to target some of those pronouns. Um, and I also like this for R blends. So you could do the frog is eating. Um, so you could target those R blends and phrases. Again, I'm just really trying to target multiple skills with one entire boom deck. Um, another thing that my kids like a lot are these making magic pages. So you can make magic with flowers, lemonade, or on the grill. Um, so why don't we do lemonade? So you've got silly ones and then you've got a non-silly in case your kids can't quite handle the silly. Um, but there's also this quick YouTube video that I put in here, kind of like the one with the garden. So you watch it, you'll talk about all the ingredients you actually do need for lemonade. You can go through there. Um, then you're going to go on to the lemonade. So you can put in all those different ingredients. We'll put them in however many you want. You can be doing my turn, your turn. You can target pronoun in, um, put the ice in, um, all sorts of things. They can give you directions. You could give them directions. Then we're going to stir the lemonade. And then when you pull it over, it's something super silly. And my kids get a kick out of this and they love seeing like, what's going to be next? What's, what's in there? What am I going to see? They think it's just the most fun thing ever to see what super silly thing is going to be inside. Okay, and then just one last thing I wanted to show you was the hide and find activities. These are a huge hit with my kids. Um, so a couple of ways you can use this. You can work, it for, work on propositions, basic concepts, following directions. Um, oh my goodness, I feel like honestly the, the possibilities are kind of endless. Um, so I've made it really open-ended. So what you're going to do, you're going to pick a spot to go on vacation and in each spot there's going to be a hidden puppy because the family that's going on vacation has lost their puppy so we have to try to find him but then on top of that we're also going to be finding different um like vacation um things and items that you just might need for a vacation um, and this is great for building vocab a lot of my kids don't get to experience these types of vacations um, so i thought it'd be kind of fun to go almost on like a virtual vacation so maybe we want to go into the camper so when we get to the camper you get the inside of the camper and there's going to be the dog hidden somewhere in here and you hear him bark and we have to find him but we also have to find these hidden items as well great for working on uh, prepositions like i said following directions have the student tell you what to do maybe you're working on some of your speech sounds in phrases or conversation and this is a really good way to do that so maybe they'll they're going to they will tell you move the plates um slide the fridge over is there anything hiding there where are the hidden items right because that is what we're trying to find um and so here's an example we just found the lemonade the lemonade is behind the grill and you can literally put everything right in that sentence strip and now we can click that because we found it um so let's also let's do one more let's look at the beach house so this one's a little different because you can actually pick which room you want to go in for the beach house you go to the tv room bedroom living room dining room etc um so let's say we go in the living room again the puppy's hiding somewhere in here we have to move the items when we get the puppy we can actually put him right into his cage and there he is he's sleeping let's put him in his bed and there he goes so that they don't lose their puppy again um, and then all the other hidden items will be somewhere in the house and my kids love this they love being able to find that and getting that satisfaction of finding those things um, again super open-ended wh questions tons of different things you can target with this and you know just have a lot a lot of fun um, with this specific activity so I hope this was helpful, this quick run through. I, I mean, it's been like 15 minutes. I did not even cover everything um, in this entire boom deck. I only covered just not even half, I would say. Um, so just kind of, you know, 
really try to stretch your thinking. How can I use this for this different goal? Here's my student. Here's the goals we're working on. How can I target something different um, by using maybe the same activity? If you've got a group, um, that's a really nice way too to be able to use these activities if you've got a group. Um, so maybe they're each decorating a skateboard. They could compare and contrast. All sorts of things. Really, um, really open-ended for your own needs. Um, again, I'm Abby from the Tightly SLP, and you can find this in my TPT store.